Hello everyone, it's me Evan, and uh, welcome back to the channel. So, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a fleet review of the, the current new series of ships that I've built in Space Engineers. All of the current ships of the fleet are present, um, plus one extra experimental piece of brickage that I'm never going to use. Um, Let's start off with the Grub here. The smallest ship in my fleet that could actually be considered a capital ship, I suppose. Um, falls into my classification of a gunboat at 6,113 PCU. 553 blocks. And weighs in at a healthy 1,000. 68 tons displacement. You can see you got a little interior, nothing much. Light armament for the most part, um, just because of its size. You know, it's only got it's got one railgun. Then we step it up to the Meganera Corvette, coming in at 10,406 PCU and 1,080 blocks. She weighs 1,798 tons. A fair bit heavier, like about 700, almost 800 tons heavier. But like seven and a half hundred tons heavier. Um, and like almost twice the blocks. Yeah, she actually still retains a very light armament. In fact, the armament between these two is actually very close. Because um, if you look at the quantity of, for instance, artillery, there's two artillery turrets versus two artillery turrets. And, like, this ship gets one more assault cannon and two Gatling guns, whereas this thing gets uh, two missiles instead. It's just a it's a different ship. This one's definitely designed for a little more long haul missions. Um, and of course the inside has got actually a lot of ratways and stuff. But the primary kicker in terms of ship to ship combat is those two rail guns right in there. So uh, no slouch, but certainly not my best ship. Now, speaking of my best ship, we come here to the Moth. This is my tried and true sort of like kill em all kind of ship, and thus has had the most iterations being on the Mark V version. She comes in at 13,000 PCU and uh, 1,687 blocks and weighs a substantial 3,039 tons. So that is a uh, like a fair jump. It's like an entire grub and a half in terms of tonnage between this and this um, and it looks the part too I mean it's not as tall but it's just it's a dense package very well armed um, I'm very very happy with this ship it's probably one of my best even though it doesn't actually have that much more for instance like artillery turrets it's only got two still um, but the way that everything can fire over the bow at the same time, and the placement of everything, the way that it's armored, it's very, very strong. Uh, it's got four forward-facing artillery guns here. One, two, three, four. And some armored cameras to uh, finish that. Moving on to our next ship here. This is probably one of my most uh, ineffective ships. <laughs> But that's because it's a carrier. It's not supposed to. This is the Ladybug carrier. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the moth. I'm 
putting in the rough classification of a frigate. Um, but yeah, uh, so we got here the this escort carrier. It's uh, it's got hangers in the front. She is a bit of a, a fat ship, coming in at thirty one thousand PCU. Well, closer to thirty two. Uh, sporting 2,939 blocks and weighing 4,345 tons. Um, these are all loaded, by the way, so that's with combat load, ammo, fuel, the like. Um, and with only one more engine to push around that nearly, what? 1,300 tons difference. This thing is uh, not super fast either. Um, yeah, but she's a carrier. She doesn't have to be durable or fast. She's just got to carry fighters. Um, I'm still working on making actually decent fighters to use on this carrier, but if we just take a quick look inside here, you can see. We've got a nice little rack for small grid fighters up here, and lots of floor space for landing larger craft. So, yeah, fairly modest armament for something her size. Firing arcs aren't particularly great, um, and the armor scheme could definitely use some work. But overall, for what she does, she does it okay. Moving on to the most recently refitted in the fleet. This is the Grasshopper. We're on Mark II, so Mark I was the first version. Um, you can see the Grasshopper is a much more aggressively minded ship. Uh, lots of railguns in there, so fun. Yeah, she weighs in at 31, close to 32 again. 1,000 PCU, 4,603 blocks, and a very, very hefty 9,341 tons. But she's got a fairly decent forward batter, like, you know, thruster bank, so she can push that around with a surprising amount of speed. Um, Little features to note, obviously I already pointed out the, uh, the railgun battery here. That's six railguns, actually. Yeah, so they're kind of stacked so that they can super fire past each other. Um, yeah, so six railguns in the front here. And then we've got a small hangar for utility craft and stuff. And lots of firepower outside of that. We've even got some little custom turrets, uh, some little assault cannon custom turrets here. But uh, yeah, overall, pretty good. She falls into the rough classification of destroyer. And now we move up to this big mamma jamma. This here is the isopod. Sort of the pride and joy of my fleet. Um, Virtually no, uh, I've, I don't think I've, in the testing and the little pseudo survival matches I've done, I don't think she's ever lost to a pure opponent, as far as I can remember. Um, very heavy armor, very thick, and that, that thick heavy armor and capability uh, comes at a bit of a price. She is coming in at almost 50,000 PCU. 49,472 PCU to be exact. 5,772 blocks. And a enormous 12,000 tons. Um, pushed around by, again, a very healthy amount of thrust, but, you know, it's still a lot of weight to move around. She's got a full interior, as do all of these, actually. They've, they've got as much interior as I could fit into them, basically. Um, but this particular ship has the biggest, obviously. 
we've got a railgun battery of eight railguns in the central uh, firing tube. And we have, of course, a wide array of anti-capital weapons, as well as a little custom railgun turret down here, which uh, actually fits into the outline of the ship pretty well, I think. It kind of slopes up, like slopes down to meet it, but yeah, she works pretty well. Uh, and then lastly, we have this experimental craft. Um, the only reason I built this is because that I was challenged to do, build a meta ship, which, yeah, I know it looks um, pretty boring. It's kind of the point, I guess. Lots of armor, obscene amounts of armor. This is actually the, frontally at least, the most well-protected ship in the fleet, but um, that comes at a heavy price because not only does it look like complete trash, uh, and also not have very many turrets on it. It also, um, is like 23,000 PCU, and for only 2,424 blocks, it weighs almost as much as the isopod coming in at 11,813 tons. This thing is extraordinarily heavy. Um, and that's because that all of its armor is up in the front. I'm never gonna release this thing to the workshop, so, um, and it's garbage, so, yeah. Uh, we're just gonna pretend that doesn't exist. Um, I'm planning to add another ship that should be around the Ladybug's weight class. Um, she's gonna be named Firefly. I'm not sure of all the specifics on that, but another ship is planned. I will be releasing all of these ships in their current iteration uh, onto the workshop. So you'll be able to check out all these new ships and uh, there'll definitely be a leg up over my, the, the older stuff. Uh, I'll just go over quickly what each one is in terms of its version number. So, we're on the Grub Mark II, we're on the uh, Meganura Mark III, so it's been three iterations. Mark V for the Moth, lots of love there. Mark II on the Ladybug. Mark II on the Grasshopper, who's got a very, very substantial refit. Um, and then Mark III on the Isopod. Lots of development and uh, progress going on all the time. So I hope you guys enjoy these ships as they come out in the following, I guess, weeks. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Ta-ta.